Sorry about that, you guys. I don't know what I just did. So hopefully, hopefully we'll come back on. <laughs> Shoot. Apparently you can't close something. So did I, did I mess that up? What's happening over there? Okay. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> I don't know what I did. <clears throat> Yay, Leanne! Cool, cool, cool. Turn this off. Big love to you guys, too. Okay. So we're just going to wait a little bit. It's not even quite 10 yet. Um, can you guys confirm that you can hear me though? Because this is all new for me. I don't even see the chat. Sophie Berkeley, you made it. Okay, I'm going to stage for us. Morning, good morning everyone. Just staging the area, clearing the energy. My space, your space. Hi Katie Weeks. And then Jay and I. Woohoo! Good. Oh you guys, happy Easter. I forgot it was Easter. So I know a bunch of you guys are celebrating and if you have wee ones that are running around. Good for you for taking the time to be with yourself and us and community. This is so fun. Thank you, Sandy, for allowing me to be a part of this. I'm very grateful. Okay. Um, so we're just going to kind of wait in. And I, I pray everyone is navigating through this time with as much ease as you can understanding uncertainty is extraordinarily uncomfortable for every single one of us especially at different levels so <clears throat> make sure you have um, something like either a block or a water bottle close by if you would like to use that to put your hand on as we're moving to bring the floor up to you um, most of you are seasoned practitioners that I see that are on. And um, also either a pillow or and or a towel so you can roll that up if you need to sit on it at all during our practice today. So having those things close by is useful. Even in hot classes, I don't normally wear shorts, so this is very weird for me, but it's too hot here. <laughs> okay, so maybe just another minute before we get started. <clears throat> I do want to just say what we're going to tap into today is, um, is very much our, we're going to open up our shoulders to get into our heart a little bit, and um, with, the, with the intention of that we keep our hearts open even during turmoil, change, uncertainty, as we experience even uncomfortable emotions like fear, overwhelm, anxiety. And then also working our third chakra, our center, our power center, where we're working on our own um, power, our sense of self, our self-empowerment, 
our sense of courage that's deep, that's there it's deep inside of us so it's almost like we can feel the feeling of fear we can feel the feeling of anxiety hold space for it have compassion for it heart chakra while simultaneously also knowing I've got this I'm supported I'm held I'm never given more than I can handle so really coming from that place simultaneously today will work together in our physical practice of yoga so let's make our way onto our mats and hopefully you guys can all see me and hear me so just get comfortable on your mat and we'll start in a tabletop position. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And we'll move together in a few cat cows. So inhale, pressing your hands into the earth, peel your heart forward, let your shoulders come onto your back body. Exhale, big exhale, round. Press your fingertips into the earth and gaze into your navel. Scoop the belly in, full exhale, all breath up. Inhaling, peel your heart forward, really spread your inner thighs in, back and apart. Exhale, round, full exhale. A nice deep inhale, really connecting with your own life force, your prana, your breath. Bring that across your chest. Exhale, bow in, gaze into your strength, your light, your beauty, your grace. Two more like that. Full inhale. And full exhale. Really press the earth away. Inhale to a neutral spine. As you exhale, just walk your knees back slightly. Extend your arms forward. Keep the knees over the hips as much as you can. Press your fingertips into the earth. Scoop your navel in towards your back body and really feel like you have energy balls underneath your armpits. Keep your armpits lifted as you press and descend your heart down in the direction of the floor. Anahata asana. So the fingertips are pressing. The navel is really toning to the back body as the armpits lift up from the floor. You'll feel a nice spaciousness across your chest. And breathe. Two more big breaths. And as you exhale, slither forward onto your belly. Legs extend directly underneath your hips. Take your left arm out to the left. You can either keep it flat, so directly aligned with your shoulder, or fingertips on the floor with your elbows slightly bent, and draw the shoulder away from the earth. Start to turn onto your left hip, opening up your side body to the right side of the mat. Press the lower leg down, flexing your toes. You're pressing your heel down to the back of your mat. Bringing more breath across your chest. A nice chest opener opening up. Breathing deeply, really find more space. So reach your sternum up to the top of your mat as you draw your tailbone into your body and then reach it down to the floor. Two more very big breaths across your chest. If it feels natural and normal to start organically moving your head, your neck, your chin, do that. Please just tend to yourself. Take very good care of yourself. Take a very big inhale. As you exhale, roll center, preparing for cobra. Heel of hand comes to your breastbone. Tops of your feet are rooting. Suck your shoulders away from the floor like you're squeezing a grape between your shoulder blades. Press your pelvic bone down. Inhale, low cobra. Exhale, bow down. Shoulders stand, back body, heart stays open. Inhale, feel your heart up. Exhale, bow. And one more time like that. Really root your feet down. Inhale, peel your heart up. Exhale, bow it down. To the other side, take your right arm out to the right. Either arm straight or elbow slightly bent. Fingertips in the earth if you do. And then roll onto your right hip. Bringing the tailbone into your body, reaching your bottom heel down to the mat and extending your sternum to the wall in front of you and breathe. Breathe. Two more breaths, 
Big breaths all across your chest. Very big inhale here. Exhale and release. Back to center, preparing for cobra. Maybe come a little higher if that feels right for you. Press your feet down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, bow. Two more like that. Can you find more space from your hips to your armpits? Inhale, feel your heart up. Exhale, bow it out. And one more time. Inhale, really peel your heart up. Press your feet down. Spread more breath across your chest. Exhale and bow. Child's pose, knees apart, toes together. Extend your tush down to your heels. Any variation that you want with your arms, third eye rests onto the mat and breathe. Breathe, deep breaths. Scooping your navel in towards your lower back. More breath across your kidneys. Inhale, just pick your head up slightly and start to walk your fingertips over toward the right side of the room. <clears throat> your left hip draws back. Scoop that belly button in even more like there's a tennis ball right in your hip, right where your hip and your belly meet. And press your fingertips more as you lift your armpits and bow over to the right. Big breath. On your next inhale, start to walk your fingers over toward the left side of your mat. Tap your right hip back, scoop right belly in, and then bow forward as you keep those armpits ignited and lifted and bow. Stay here for the exhale. Inhale, come all the way up. And either stay in Varasana or take a seated twist in Sukha, I mean seated position in Sukhasana, legs crossed. If you need, place your tush on top of something. If you find that your knees are over your hips, bring your hands to your heart center. So together we come in. We find gratitude for this moment. We set our intention for our practice. We feel the space and this attention toward ourselves. We feel the space and the intention of others and hold that. And we hold the energy for this planet, just an invitation. So three ohms together, please exhale your breath out. A very big inhale. center, sealing your own intention for your practice. And release your hands down, shine your eyes open. Inhale, reach your arms up high to the sky. And we twist, bring your right arm back behind you or to the side of you. The left hand comes to the outside edge of your right thigh. Shoulders draw on back body. Navel really tones in, especially on the left side. Draw your navel back, keeping your hips forward. The crown of your head reaches to the sky. More shoulders on back body, and maybe the gaze comes. But the gaze doesn't come compromising the neck. It becomes because there's space to invite it. And breathe. Stay here for the exhale. Uh, unwind, inhale, both arms reach up high to the sky. Feeling space in your side body, so pause here and hold for a moment. Draw your navel in toward your back body. Reach your tailbone down in the direction of the floor and pull your ribs in toward your back body as well, so there's a nice alignment. Now feel the reaching of your fingertips as you root down your tailbone and more, bring more breath and space across your whole side body from your hips to your fingertips. One more very big inhale. 
And exhale, we bring the left hand down to the side or back behind you. Right hand on the outside of your left thigh. Shoulders on, back body, right belly toned in. Take your twist. Can you bring more breath from the crown of your head down to your root? Can you relax any place where you feel a slight tension, creating space for the opposite? Stay here for the exhale. Inhale, both arms reach high to the sky. And as you exhale, come back to tabletop position. Extend your right leg long behind you. Flex your toes towards your face. Drop your right hip slightly so the hips are level to the floor. Extend your left arm forward to the wall in front of you. Palm turns in like you're shaking hands. Shoulders drawn, back body. Inhale here. Exhale, draw knee to nose and really round your upper body like the Halloween cat. Pull your foot closer to the tush. Inhale, reaching and extending your limbs. Exhale, scoop belly in, pull, pull in, press your right hand into the earth. Inhale, open it up, extend, look for space. Full exhale, pull in. Inhale, cue change, listen closely. The left hand plant, swing your left foot over to the left. Open your hips up to the left. Your right hand's on your hip. Flex your right toes, keep your right leg aligned with your hip. Take your right arm up to the sky, palm turns down and reach it overhead unless that does not work for your body. You tend to you as you need. Inhale here. Exhale, draw knee to elbow, pull in and tone your belly in again. Inhale, extend. Exhale, tone and pull in. Inhale, extend. Two more like that. Exhale, really make a movement from your core, your center. Inhale, extend. Exhale, tone in, squeeze in. Inhale, extend, and re-release back to tabletop position. Inhale, peel your heart forward. Exhale, round. Inhale to neutral table. Exhale, extend your left leg long. Stay with your breath, find your hips level, tone and zip your ribs in. Inhale, extend the right arm, left leg. Exhale, draw knee in towards your navel, pull foot toward touch. Inhale, extend. Exhale, draw in, squeeze in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, draw. Cue change, inhale, extend. Exhale, release, right hand down, swing right foot over to the right. Open up your hips to the side wall, left hand on hip, left leg extends, flex toe toward face. Take your left arm up to the sky. Turn your palm to the wall up where your head is, arm up and overhead. Now really draw your front ribs into your back body here and find your center as you zip into your midline. Inhale here. Exhale, draw your knee in. Really make the action from your navel. Inhale, extend. Exhale, pull the belly in. Make a catcher's mitt out of your belly, out of your whole center. Inhale, extend. Exhale. Uno mas, inhale, extend, exhale. Cue change, we inhale, we extend, exhale and release, tabletop, cat cow, inhale, peel your heart up, exhale and round in. Walk your hands slightly forward, if you have tighter shoulders, you may want to turn your hands out slightly, pressing your hands down, curl your toes up and let your knees hover off the floor. Press your hands in more to the earth and lift the armpits, scoop belly in, pause here, breathe. As you continue to scoop your belly in, lift your hips up high and stay high in your toes, pause. And then as you press more firmly into your hands, start to descend your heels back to the wall, back to the floor. And then if it feels natural and organic, especially if this is your first dog for the day, just start to maybe move around, shimmy around. And then after you do, start to find stillness. Moving from the ground up, we find our hands spread wide like two starfish. We squeeze the triceps in toward another as we wrap the biceps away from our ears. Now can you lift your, your belly up even more as you descend your thighs in, back, and apart to the wall behind you. Inhale here. Exhale, step your right foot forward if you need. Grab the foot so it walks all the way, knee directly over your ankle. Toe heel your 
right foot out to the right, drop down to your back knee. So again, if you find you're pretty tight here, you may want to stack up a few towels or a pillow. So from here, fingertips come wide, elbows out to the side for lizard pose. Maybe just start to move in and out, or we can move with our breath. Inhale here as you draw your front foot back, back knee forward. Exhale, bow in to your expression. Inhale, come on out. Exhale, bow in, really moving with your breath, remembering your intention. Inhale, come on out. And this time, exhale, we bow and we hold. Either fingers stay wide, elbows down on pillow, block, or floor, and breathe. So the more you squeeze and scissor your legs in toward one another, you're going to feel the intensity, the opening, the invitation for your thighs, to, your hips to open more. Two more breaths. And go ahead, press yourself up. Toe your feet slightly, your foot slightly in, hands down to the floor, raise your back knee off the floor, pause, inhale, scoop belly in, exhale, back plank pose, pause. Lengthen your sternum, modifications on your knees at any time. Either way, the navel still stays toned toward the belly as you reach your tailbone back. Lengthen your sternum, the crown of the head forward, the gaze stays slightly forward and down, elbows kiss into your side, lower slowly all the way to the floor. Tops of your feet plant, inhale, lower high cobra, peel your heart up. Exhale all the way down, heel tail by breastbone, curl your toes under either knees, lifted or not, you choose, press yourself high, push up or tabletop, lift your hips, down dog. And breathe. Inhale here, as you exhale, the left foot steps forward all the way through, knee directly over your ankle, drop down to your back knee, toe heel the left toes out to the left, fingertips wide. As you squeeze your legs together, inhale, exhale, bow on in. Inhale, come on up, relaxing your jaw, deepening your breath, exhale, meeting yourself where you are. Inhale, come on up. This time we land, we hold, we breathe. Staying connected to your breath, to yourself, to your intention, to this moment. One more breath here. On your next inhale, start to press into your hands. So here, your left foot in slightly, hands frame your front foot, lift your back knee up, tone your navel in, lift up and step back, plank pose, pause. Inhale here. Exhale, kissing that belly, that elbows in, slowly lower all the way down. Inhale, peel your heart up, high or low. Exhale, bow it out. Heel of hand by breastbone, curl your toes under, ignite your thighs. Inhale, press yourself up, tabletop or high push up, lift your hips, down dog, and breathe. Can you find more length from your heel of your hand to your hips? Coming high onto your toes, inhale, exhale, roll forward, plank pose. Inhale, back up high onto your toes, lift your hips, exhale, back, down dog. Two more like that, inhale, high onto your toes, roll forward, navel in, lead from the back of your heart. Exhale, back, down dog, scoop, navel in, heels down. Uno mas, lift the legs high, roll forward, a full inhale, lengthen through. Exhale and take it back. This time we're gonna come high on the toes and start to walk up forward to the top of the mat. Feet are hip width apart, knees are slightly bent, and bow forward over your legs. Just stay here for one moment, we're not gonna stay super long, just feel your feet in the earth. Maybe shift your weight slightly forward, whatever feels normal, natural, organic for you. 
Inhale, let's lengthen the spine halfway. Really reach the crown of your head. Hands are either floor or shin or block. Exhale, bow it up. And with the flat back, inhale, reaching all the way up high to the sky, the navel in. Your fingers reach like you did before. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Please, toil your feet together to touch. Unless this doesn't work for you anatomically, it's totally fine. You can keep your feet hip width as, as you need. Hands drawn back into your heart center. Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, reach your arms up. And bow forward in reverence all for it up. Inhale, we find length and space. Exhale, plant the hands, step back. And lower down slowly, halfway or all the way. Inhale, peel your heart up. Exhale, back. Down dog. And breathe. One more very big breath here. Inhale, look to the top of the mat. Separate jump or walk up to the top of the mat. Forward fold when you get there. Inhale, lengthen the spine halfway. Really look for the space. Exhale, bow it up. With a flat back, your arms reach out and up all the way. Mountain, Samas Titihi, hands to your heart center. Inhale, reach your arms up high. Exhale, bow it up. Just dropping into yourself, building your fire. Inhale, we lengthen the spine. Exhale, stepping the other leg back first or jumping through. Move through halfway or all the way. Inhale, we find that space, really letting the back of our heart open as we do, and exhale, back, down dog. Corset your center, scooping that belly in, more breath into your kidneys, keep the armpits lifting. Two more very big breaths. Bottom of your next exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or jump up to the top of the mat, forward fold when you get there. Inhale, we find the length, we look for the space, invite it in, exhale, bow up. Flat back, inhale all the way up, exhale, bow it up. Bend your knees nice and deep, Utkatasana arms either reach up or hands to your heart center, whatever works for you. Legs are zipping in, again, unless that doesn't work for you, shifting your weight back to your heels as much as you can, either arms apart or together if they're up. Stay here and breathe as you let the tailbone draw down to the floor, the belly draws in, lifting, find more space from your hips. Inhale here, power ski, we extend the arms forward, parallel to the floor, the shoulders stand your back body and lower your knees. So you lower your hips the height of your knees. Stay here, breathe. Keep zipping the navel in, scooping the navel in so you're not just dropping on your thighs. One more breath. Start to lower your tush down to the floor, preparing for Navasana, boat pose, either lifting the legs up, hands behind your legs, hands to the side of your body. Knees can stay bent or legs can extend it or arms forward. So find your Navasana, stay here and breathe. Lifting your sternum up to the sky, the shoulders draw on your back body, whatever position you're in, keep drawing the belly in and breathing deeply. We stay for two more breaths. You got this. Directly up, Utkatasana, if you can, no hands. Sit into a nice deep seat, inhale, reach your arms up, woo! Exhale, bow forward over your legs. Inhale, we lengthen the spine halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back and lower down. Inhale, peel your heart up. Exhale, back, down dog. Your right leg steps forward, back foot turns in just slightly. Feet are a little bit closer than they would be for a warrior two. Back foot turns into about 10 o'clock on a clock, right foot's at noon on a clock. We're spiraling that back left inner thigh in and back to the wall behind us, bending into the front knee, preparing for warrior one. Really press your back heel down as much as you can, Draw your right hip back. Squeeze your hips in by your inner thighs and the tailbone moves down. Then maybe the arms come up. Varadrasana one. And breathe. As you work the back heel in the direction of the earth and draw the right hip back, can you settle into your front knee more? 
Very big inhale. Exhale and release. Hands frame your front foot. Step back. Plank pose. Inhale here. Exhale. Lower down. Lead with your heart. Inhale. Lower high. Peel your heart up. Exhale. Back. Down dog. Left leg steps forward. Back foot turns in slightly. About two o'clock on the clock. Torso up. Left inner thigh. Right inner thigh rather. Spirals. Left hip back. Right hip forward. Tailbone really drawn into your body. That drawing your tailbone into the body connects with your back center, right? The center of who you are. And then connecting with that center of who we are, we're able to open up our heart. And breathe. Big breaths. Very big inhale. Exhale and release. Hands frame your front foot, curl your back foot under, step back, plank pose, inhale. And lower down. Inhale, peel your heart up. Exhale, back. Down dog. At any moment, feel free to drop to child's pose. Feel free to take care of yourself in whatever way, whether that's go to the bathroom, grab a drink, wipe yourself off. Stay here and breathe. And whatever you choose to do, I invite you to do so mindfully. Staying connected to breath, staying connected to self, maybe even connected to intention. One more breath here. If you're in child's pose, please make your way back to down dog. Very big inhale. As you exhale, step or jump up to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bow down. Bend the knees nice and deep, Utkatasana. Exhale here. Inhale all the way up, reaching up. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, power ski. Stay here. Inhale, lengthen your sternum. Exhale, start to lower your tush down to the floor. Navasana, lift your hips up. Pause and breathe. Remember you have modifications. Do what works for you, especially if you find yourself tired. Continue to tap into your breath and your center. Keep your sternum lifted, the navel in. Stay here for two. You're doing great. Stay with it. If you can, without hands, it's cool if you need hands. Coming up, Utkatasana, inhale. Exhale, bow down, all the way. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step or jump back, and lower down. Inhale, peeling up. Exhale, back, down dog. Right foot steps forward, back foot turns. Inhale, Virabhadrasana, uno. Exhale, release down, bring your front foot, step back. And lower down. Inhale, peel up. Exhale, take it back. Left foot on that same exhale, steps all the way forward. And now your inhale, we open. Exhale and release all the way down. That full exhale takes you all the way down to the floor. The inhale peels you up. Exhale, back down dog. Again, right foot steps forward, back foot turns flat. Inhale, Virabhadrasana Uno. Exhale, release it down. Take your way slowly, mindfully, using your core as you do. Inhale, then we peel it open. Exhale and bow to the left. In, step it all the way through on that exhale. Inhale is the reprieve and we open. Exhale and release. Framing, slowly lower. Inhale, peel it up. Exhale, we're going straight in with the cue change. Step your right foot forward, back foot flat. Inhale, Virabhadrasana uno. Let's open it up, Virabhadrasana dos. So go ahead, it's a little bit longer of a stance. It's a heel to arch alignment. If you know it, go into it. Otherwise, I'll walk you through either way. Let's all settle into our foundation. Bending your front knee so it's directly over your ankle. Seal the outside edge of your back foot so the inner arch lifts. So you're working the integrity of both of your legs. The tailbone draws into your body. The left rib opens to the back of your mat, then the arms extend, shoulders drawn and back body as you settle in. And breathe. Notice if that front knee starts to dip into the big toe and give a little love to the pinky toe as you continue to work your back heel down. Stay here for the exhale. Keep your knee nice and back and bend. Just reverse your warrior and look for space from your right hip to your right fingertips. Settle deeper into your front leg. 
Keep working the back leg. Look for more space. Inhale here. Exhale and release. Frame your front foot. Step back. Plank pose. And lower down. Inhale. Peeling your heart up. Exhale back. Down dog. Very big inhale. Exhale it out. Inhale deeply. Bottom of your exhale, step or jump up to the top of the mat. Forward fold when you get there. Inhale, we lengthen the spine. Bow it out, exhale. Utkatasana, bend your knees, reach on up. Always stand, exhale. You're doing awesome. Here we go. Inhale, bend your knees nice and deep. Power ski, extend your torso forward, shift your hips back, breathe. Start to lower your hips down to the floor. Navasana. Lift up. Breathe. More breath. More space. Feel your strength. Feel your courage. Feel your power right here, right now. Stay with yourself. One more breath. And back to Utkatasana. Bend your knees. Reaching your arms up. Exhale. Bow it out. Inhale. We extend. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, and lower mindfully. Inhale, peel your heart up. Exhale, back, down dog. Left leg steps forward, right foot turns back. Inhale, Virabhadrasana, one. Exhale, we open it up, Virabhadrasana, two. Settle in, a nice longer stance, and find your foundation. That front knee is nice and bent. The back foot is sealing, so the inner arch is lifting. Can you draw your tailbone in so your pelvic bone turns up slightly, your tailbone draws down, and your front ribs can settle to your back body? Then the arms extend and breathe. Gaze slightly over your fingertips, finding your drishti, your soft graze, your intention right in front of you. Stay here for the exhale. We reverse the top arm back, up and over. Back arm can go either on your leg or down and wrapped around, whatever works for you. Two more breaths. Inhale here. Exhale and release. Unwind, step back, plank pose. And then lower all the way down. Inhale, peel your heart up. Exhale back, down dog. Or child's pose, five breaths here. So deep, intentional breaths. Tapping back to yourself, back to your strength, back to your heart. Respira. One more breath here, making your way to down dog if you're not there already. Bottom of your next exhale, look up, step or jump up to the top of the mat, forward fold when you get there. Inhale, we look for length and space, create the length and space, exhale, bow. Bend your knees nice and deep, reaching your arms up or heart center, exhale all the way. Inhale, bend your knees nice and deep. Let's take a twist. Exhale, bring your left elbow over to the outside of your right thigh or knee. Your right hand's on your sacrum just to feel your hips level. And when you do, you may actually have to squeeze your legs in a little bit more and tuck and tone in your left belly even more. Then palm to palm and breathe. Pressing your palms to palm, the shoulders draw on your back body and lengthen the crown of your head forward. Keep your hips, if you can, the height of your knees. Look for space from your hips to the crown of your head. Continue to turn your breath up. Stay here for the exhale. Listen closely. Back to Utkatasana. Inhale. Start to settle low into your legs. Back to Navasana. Exhale. Settle low. Breathe. Stay for three. Sternum lifts. Breathe. You've got this, too. Woo! Back to Utkatasana, lifting up. Exhale, bow forward over your legs. 
Inhale, we find length. Exhale, plant up the hands, step or jump back. Move down to the floor halfway. Inhale, peel your heart up. Exhale, back it on down, down, down. The right leg reaches high to the sky. Pause here. Hips are level to the earth. Really scoop your navel in and lift those armpits from the earth. Inhale here. Knee into your nose. Pull the foot to the tush and round your upper body like a Halloween cat. Inhale. Open it. Extend it. Over to your left tricep. Cut across and under. Lift the knee high. Exhale. Inhale. Take the leg high. One more time like that. Up and over. Then extend your left leg long. Tap the right toes down to the floor. Shift the weight onto your right leg and lift your left arm, to, right hand, and lift your left arm to the sky. You can start to press the, bat of the bottom of your foot, of the left foot, behind you down to the floor. The hips lift high. Absolutely stay here. Modification is where we were before, dropping your knee down with your front leg forward. Or if you want to work your core more, start to raise your left leg off the floor. And breathe, standing arms strong. Breathe, lengthen your sternum forward. Breathe, two more breaths. Listen closely, we were swinging that right leg up and behind us, three-legged dog, lift it up, extend it. Knee into your nose, round shift the weight. Step all the way through to a nice long low lunge. Back foot is curled, <clears throat> the heel is up. Start to raise your torso up, hands on your hips. Soften your back knee for a moment. We're drawing that tailbone into our body, reaching it to the floor to get our hips underneath us. And from that space, as we settle into the front knee, then start to straighten your back leg. Your right hip's moving back, your left hip's moving forward. Ribs are drawing in, tailbone in, maybe your arms come up. And breathe. Inhale here. Exhale, your torso comes forward. Extend your arms, stay low in your legs. So keep your legs as they are. You're just finding warrior three in your arms. Turn your palms up to the sky. The shoulders are on your back body. You're pressing your triceps. You're squeezing your triceps. Settling in and compress your hips in toward one another. One more breath. Listen closely. We start to raise the, bring the left hand down to the floor or onto your water bottle or block. The right arm reaches to the sky. Now you may want to place your hand on your sacrum to feel your hips level. Compress your hips in. Draw shoulders on back body. Only to look up if it feels okay for your neck. We're looking for space. So reach the crown of your head forward. Press your heel back. Breathe deeply. One more very big inhale. And exhale and release. <clears throat> Cue change. From here, we step back. Plank pose. Feet together to touch. <clears throat> Vashi Sasana. The right hand's the foundation. Roll on over. Stacking or dropping your knee down. Hips are lifting high. Top arm. Turn your palm to the wall in front of you and take the arm overhead. Now really knit your ribs in here. Pull the belly in here. Inhale. Exhale, hip dips, drop your hip down to the floor, let your hand come to the side of the body. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hip dip. Inhale, lift up. If this doesn't work, you're just holding Vashi. Exhale, inhale, really tone your navel in. Exhale, one more time like this. Inhale, exhale. We have an inhale for the cue change. Inhale up and over. Exhale to plank pose. Inhale here, exhale, lowering down, halfway or all the way. Inhale, take it on up, exhale back, down dog, and settle here. You're doing great, settle here. Reset. It's a strong practice. Know that you have so much strength inside of you and you're tapping into that right now, building the agony, the fire. One more breath. If you're not in down dog, please make your way through. The bottom of your next exhale, next exhale, step or jump up to the top of the mat, forward fold when you get there. Inhale, we find the length. Exhale, we bow it up. 
Bend the knees nice and deep, reaching your arms up. Exhale, Samas Titi Hi. Inhale, bend the knees nice and deep. Exhale, we take the twist. The right elbow comes over to the outside edge of your left hip, near your thigh. And breathe. Notice that the right hip dips slightly. Can you scoop in your right belly a little bit more? Find buoyancy. Press shoulders on back body toward one another even more as you lengthen the crown of your head. Two more very, very deep breaths. Stay here for the exhale. Utkatasana is the inhale, unwind, reaching up, lower down, Navasana, and lift, pause, breathe. Woo, I'm shaking. Inhale here, back to Utkatasana, reaching up, and then exhale, bow it out. Inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, lift hands, step or jump back, lowering halfway or all the way. Inhale, we peel the heart up. Exhale, we take it back. The left leg reaches and we pause. Breathe. Look for length. Inhale here. Knee into your nose, really round shift. Use your fingertips. Inhale, take it on up. Cut it open under and over to your right tricep. Take it up back. One more time, back over toward your right tricep. Press your fingertips into the mat, extend your legs. Then start to raise your right arm off the floor. The left arm is there, pressing and rooting your left right leg down. Stay here and reach your arm, or go ahead if you want. Extend and reach the leg, pause and breathe. Turn on your core, turn up your breath. Breathe. Awesome work, everyone. We swing the leg for three-legged. Inhale, open, take it up. Step it all the way through. Exhale. Preparing for crescent lunge, find your feet hip width apart, back heels lifted, raise torso up, hands on hips. Bending your back knee for a moment to get the hip under, underneath, the tailbone underneath. Then we start to straighten. Settle into your front leg. Lift the arms up. Big breath. Airplane, I'm sorry, rather warrior three. Extend your torso forward. Bring it parallel to the floor. Arms extend, reach forward. Really squeeze your hips in toward one another and find that buoyancy in your navel so your hips are level. Stay here for two. Now just your right hand comes down on the inside edge of your right foot. We keep the hips level to the earth. You may want to check with your hand and then start to open the back of your heart as you maintain the integrity of your core. And breathe. The more you zip your legs in, it's going to support you in creating that integrity in your center. One more breath like this. Exhale, we release. Frame your front foot. Step back. Plank pose. Vashisthasana to the left this time, yeah? Left? I think so. <laughs> Top arm up and overhead, modifications on your bottom knee. Inhale here. Exhale, hip dip. Extend and drop the hips down, drop the arm down. Inhale. This is too much on your shoulder. You also have the option of going onto your forearm. Take it up. And down. And up. And down. Q change up and over, back to plank pose. Inhale here, listen closely, lower down chaturanga, pause, either knees or no knees. We stay here for two breaths, keep the sternum reaching forward, breathe across your chest, navel stays toned in. Lower all the way down, inhale, lower high cobra, peel your heart up. Child's pose, exhale, knees apart, toes together, Five breaths here. You're doing great. Stay with yourself. Do what you need to do for you. Do what you need to do for you.
One more breath here, making your way back to dog. Inhale deeply. As you exhale, step or jump up to the top of the mat, forward fold when you get there. Inhale, we find length, look for space. Exhale and bow it out. Bend your knees nice and deep, Utkatasana, listen closely. Take the twist, right left elbow over to the outside edge of your right knee. We stay here, we breathe. Lengthen your sternum, breathe deeply. Open your wings if you choose to. Reaching, either way, still extending your lengthening your sternum. Stay here for the exhale. Utkatasana is the inhale, take it on up. Listen closely, exhale, take your arms behind you, drinking bird if you choose, raise your heels off the floor. Triceps are squeezing in, lengthening your sternum. Stay here, lift your heels a little higher. Listen closely, bring the clasp the hands together if you can, otherwise they're coming to a V and we bow over our legs. Bring the feet hip width apart for a moment. Soften your knees if you feel comfortable and natural, start to bend one knee and then the other. Breathe. Maybe extend the knuckles overhead, maybe bring the heel of your hands together. By way of lower back, release your hands down to the floor. Inhale, lengthen your spine halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, plank pose. Lift straight up to down dog. Inhale, your right leg reaches high to the sky. Exhale, knee into your nose. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Knee over to your left. Up high. Back to the left. Shoot the leg out. Drop the foot down. Shift your weight, right hand, right foot, lifting the hips up high. Either stay here, go back to the balance core work, or take the outside edge, the pinky side edge of your right foot. Your shoulders are nice and open. Start to extend the leg forward toward the wall and woo, front of you. Pressing your bottom foot down, your bottom hand down, opening up your heart, your chest. Maybe start to turn your right rib cage in and up to the sky even more. Breathe deeply. Mindfully, everyone, slowly, three-legged dog, make your way back and up, reach it up. Exhale, step on through, crescent lunge, raise your torso up, you've got this, you're so strong. Exhale, now we come to just airplane arms as we lengthen our sternum forward, pause here, breathe. Mindfully, slowly shift the weight to full airplane, pressing your right leg towards straight, lifting your left leg off the floor, parallel to the floor, shoulders are on back body, we're keeping our hips level, breathe, one more breath here, the left hand starts to reach down to block or floor, six inches to a foot where your left foot would be, take your right hand on your sacrum, feel your hips level, tone your left belly in, Zip your left leg into your midline, shoulders on back body, maybe take your right arm to the side, to the sky, maybe take your gaze if your neck allows. Stay and breathe. One more breath. Big transition, warrior two, soften your back knee down, cartwheel the arms up, open up, open, find your feet, settle in. Reverse triangle, we straighten the front leg, take the top arm up and back, mm, nice space. And then from here, triangle pose, extend your right arm forward, tack your hips back, and then as you root down into the bone underneath your right big toe, hand comes up to outside or inside edge or ankle of your foot, block or water bottle, left arm to the sky or if you want, more space in your side body, top arm up and overhead, palm faces down, and breathe. You're turning your right rib cage in and up to the sky as you press and work the outside edge of your back foot. And breathe. Inhale here. Exhale and release to a low lunge. Curl your back foot under and then walk over to the Long side of the left side of your mat. Toe heel your toes in slightly, your heels out. Inhale, lengthen, prasarita. Exhale, bow. With a flat back, inhale, raising yourself up all the way, arms reach to the sky. Exhale, hands to 
your heart center, and then we'll take our hands to our hips. So, as much as we can here, what I'm going to invite you to do is keep your hips level to the earth. So the arms are going to come out to the side. We're going to twist our torso, keeping our hips level, forward, over toward the right, and then cartwheel your right hand down to either inside or outside edge of your right foot, your left hand rather, to your right foot. Your hips stay level, and we open up our heart. So the left hand is coming to the inside or outside edge of your right foot. Your right arm is reaching to the sky. Your hips are staying square to the floor, reaching and opening up your right arm to the sky. Gaze what works for you. One more very big breath. Inhale here. Exhale and wind. Bow forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine to a low lunge. Exhale here. <clears throat> Walk your back foot in slightly, three feet or three feet apart from one another, one another. Back foot turned out like in warrior one. Hands on either side of your front foot. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Really press your back heel down, your front foot heel down to work the hips leveling. And then bow forward over your legs. And breathe. Breathe. One more breath here. Inhale, lengthen the spine halfway. Back to a low lunge. Step your back foot back. Frame your front foot. Step back. Plank pose. Pause. Pause and plank pose. Sternum is long. Breath still free. We're lowering down halfway for two breaths. Elbows in. Hold for two. Breathe deeply. And all the way down, cobra. Inhale, peel your heart up. Let's stay here for two breaths. Let's open the heart. More shoulders on back body. More breath across your chest. Look for space from your hips to your armpit. One more breath. And then down dog or child's pose. Three breaths, your choice. Breathe. You are almost there. You've got this. One more breath where you are, preparing, moving back to dog if you're not there already. Bend your knees, bottom of your exhale, step or jump up to the top of the mat, forward fold when you get there. Inhale, we lengthen the spine, bow it out as you exhale, directly to Utkatasana, bend your knees, reach your arms up. Let's take the twist, right elbow to the outside edge, twist it and open. If you want, spread your wings. Find your breath. As you, the more tired we get, the more attentive we want to be. That's when we can kind of get lazy. So we want to really continue to tap into our strength. Stay here for the exhale. Inhale as Utkatasana, raise it up. Bow forward over your legs, exhale. Inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, step back directly to dog. Inhale, left leg reaches high to the sky. Knee into your nose, round and shift the weight. Inhale, left leg reaches high to the sky. Knee over right tricep, shift the weight, grip your fingertips. Knee over, lift it high. Cue change, knee over, we twist it, extend the leg, shift the weight to the left hand, left foot, top arm reaches, Top, bob, the right leg reaches or grab the pinky side edge of your right foot, extending, drawing shoulders on back body, reaching the leg, pressing the standing arm and stay standing leg down, turning your heart to the sky. Two big breaths. Mindfully we unwind, three legged dog, inhale. Mindfully step all the way through, exhale. Crescent lunge, inhale, take it up. Airplane, just your torso, arms reach back, find steadiness, find the foundation of your shoulders on your back body, your triceps squeezing, then you mindfully shift the weight into the left leg, raise the right leg up parallel to the floor, leg and sternum, hip level, hips level, breathe. Continue to breathe. And then right hand comes down to the floor, where you're, six inches in front of where 
your right, right leg would be, left arm comes up to the sky. So you want to maybe tack your hips, tack in with your sacrum, feel it level. Notice if your back leg starts to dip and find the integrity of the back leg as you draw shoulders on back body and lengthen your sternum. Inhale here. It's a big move, warrior two, step all the way back, cartwheel the arms up and settle in, bear Vajrasana two. Reverse your triangle, straighten your front leg, open it up. And then slowly we start to make our way as we reach forward, finding our foundation, a stance that works for you. Further away if that's better for triangle, arms come down and the top arm up. So with this, we also want to make sure we still have length on the left side of our body. We don't want to just collapse there. So zip your ribs in, tone in your core in, lengthen from your hips to the crown of your head here, and breathe. Mmm, so good. One more very big inhale. Exhale, release, unwind. And then start to come to prasarita to the outside edge of your mat. Toes in, heels out slightly. Bow forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine halfway. Bow forward, exhale. With a flat back, inhale all the way up. Arms up. And then arms out to the side. Pause. Inhale, we twist the torso. Exhale, we take the right hand to the outside edge or inside edge of your left foot. Keeping the hips level, so you may want to touch. And you can maybe start to lower your right elbow down to the floor as you keep your hips facing to the floor. And breathe. One more breath here. Unwind, exhale to the front of your mat. It's a low lunge with your back left foot forward. Walk your back foot that in, three feet apart from one another. Back foot turns out slightly, feet are hip width apart. Inhale, press into your heels, lengthen your sternum. Exhale and bow. Inhale, we lengthen the spine halfway, hands frame your front foot, walk your back foot back slightly, step back, plank pose, pause. Inhale here, lower halfway down, we pause. Lower all the way down. Inhale to that cobra, we pause in cobra, king cobra, find the space. Feel free to move around here, staying rooted in your legs, even if you do. One more breath. Child's pose, please. Knees part, toes together, third eye breaths, and breathe. Breathe. You're doing so good. Two more breaths here. And down dog, please, when you're ready. Settle in your dog. And then step or jump to a seated position, please. I'm just gonna turn my mat. Great work, you guys. So if you know sometimes you need to sit on a pillow, a, tillo, a pillow or a, a blanket or a block, keep it close by, please. That's gonna be useful. And if you know that you like to have a prop close by, keep that close by as well. So from here, let's go ahead and extend your left leg long to the front of your mat. Flex your toes towards your face. Take your right foot in. And you're about a, a, hip, a, a fist width apart from your inner thigh and your front foot. You may want to flex, take the flesh away from your sit bone. If you find you have catcher's mitt happening, that's where you might want to take a rolled up towel or something and place it underneath your right butt cheek. 
Okay, so take your right arm to the inside edge of your right knee, extend your right fingertips forward, lengthen, lengthen, then turn your palm, reach back behind you, and either just wrap around, letting your palm be open, or take your left arm, reach back with your left hand, grab a hold onto fingers or wrists, inhale, open, and then exhale, bow forward, bringing your forehead down in the direction of your front toe, your right toe. Inhale, raise your torso up and release your arms if you have the bind. Take your right arm up and then back behind you. Right behind you or slightly to the side of you. You can place it on a, a, a block or something if you need. Left arm reaches to the sky. We're taking a twist. Really tone your left belly in. And then take your twist. Elbow comes to the outside edge of your right knee. Shoulders drawn on back body. Crown of the head reaches. We take the twist. Staying connected with our, our core as we open the back of our heart. One more breath here. And exhale and unwind. And from here, take your right foot, and if you can, bring it into um, half lotus. If this does not work for you, you can just bring your right foot into your inner thigh. From here, you can either keep your leg out straight, or you can bend it. This is just for those that want to try something different, a little bit different. We're doing what we did before in a slightly different position. If this doesn't work for your ankle, don't do it. Extend your left arm forward in front of your, in, in your, in this inside of your left inner thigh. Turn your palm, wrap around, reach back like you did before. Shoulders on back body, and then you bow forward. One breath here. Inhale, peel your heart up. Exhale, extend the left leg long. So here are the options. The knee opens up with the foot on the inside of the thigh. If you can, open your leg to a hurdler. I invite everyone, if you can, if it's not too much on your knee. Okay? So really extending the left leg long, rooting the left thigh down. We open up the knee as much as we can. That works for us. Take your right hand down to the floor behind you. The left arm reaches high to the sky. Tone your navel in. Inhale. Take the twist again. Exhale. We find the crown of our head reaching. The shoulders on our back body. Inhale here. And then start to lengthen your shoulder, the outside edge of your, uh, your, your body, down onto the floor. The left arm reaches up, and you can either just reach it overhead, let it hang. You can keep it to the side of your body. Or if it's available, grab onto your toes and start to turn your torso up to the sky. Just getting a little bit more into our side body. Really looking for space. If you're going for the reach, throw more shoulder on your back body and really tone your navel in. One more big breath. Release your foot if you have it. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, extend both legs forward. Shake your legs out. Yay, good. Other side. Okay, here we go. So I just want to remind you, class is 75 minutes on Sunday, just in case. Um, so from here, we bring the foot and the inside, a fist away. Take your left arm, the right leg is standing long, left arm reaches forward in front, we turn the palm, reach it behind and around, we grab a hold or not, the hand just stays there. We inhale, we open, shoulders on back body, root down your tailbone, exhale, bow in. So all this bowing in right now, this is to returning, it's calming the nervous system, turning on the parasympathetic nervous system, and it's turning us back into our own wisdom. We go out, we go in, we go out, we go in, which is what we're being asked to as a world right now, to consciously do that. Stay here for the exhale. Inhale, raise your torso up. Let's take the twist. The hand, left hand comes behind you. Right arm reaches to the sky. Really tone, especially your right belly, and find your root. Exhale, we take the twist. Either hand or elbow to the outside edge. And press elbow to knee, knee to elbow, so you're not crossing your midline here. You want to keep the integrity across your center as you open up. Staying very aware that the right foot, flex, flex, the right foot stays flexed toward your face as you twist. 
Stay here for the inhale. Exhale, we unwind. And from here, we take the foot, cross it over, or it's on the inside. We cross the foot over a half lotus. Stay here with half lotus, and this is a great place to stay. If you want, you just stay, you bow forward, you just bow forward, or if you would like to try the bind, I think it's called Marichi Nasana or something, but I can't remember, so sorry, don't quote me on that. Extend the right arm forward on the inside edge of your right thigh, turn the palm, reach back behind you, the left arm reaches up, and maybe back, and we open, and then again, we turn inward to our grace, our light, our beauty, our strength, so that's what we can offer up to the world. And breathe. Returning back to ourselves intentionally, filling our cup, Reminding ourselves again and again, we are not responsible for anyone's happiness, nor is anyone responsible for ours. Stay here for the exhale. Inhale, raising your torso up, unwind your legs, and we prepare for Janya. If you can, you either open up the knee, where from here you would do this, or you come into hurdlers. Hurdlers is just gonna get you nice into your inner thigh, which is really lovely, especially now. And then you're going to straighten your leg as much as you can. Root down the thigh. Your left hip is going to be lifted if you're in hurdlers, by the way. Start to take the twist. And then we start to drop the right shoulder down toward the inside edge of the right leg. Keep turning your right rib cage in and up to the sky. The top arm either extends back or take it forward, whatever's going to work for you. Either way, it's deep, intentional breaths. Big breaths. And if you have your foot, you're actually pulling on your foot with your hand, opening up your top elbow to the wall behind you. One more breath. And release, inhale, come all the way up. Extend your legs out in front of you, shake your legs, flush away from your sit bone. If you need to place your tush on something, please do. Dandasana, inhale, open up your heart. Exhale, we bow, Pachimottanasana. Extend forward, arm variation that you choose. You can take your arms in front. You can pull on your toes or wrap your hands, palms forward, over your feet, and pull with your biceps, your torso down toward your thighs, and breathe. Stay mindful in your leg, your feet, rather your toes are flexed toward your face the entire time. Hugging the muscle bone energy so we're not dumping into our joints. Stay with yourself. Stay here for the exhale. Inhale and we come on up. I'm gonna call half, I'm gonna call double pigeon. Feel free to come into half pigeon. And feel free to also come onto your back and thread the needle. So whatever's gonna work for you. Crossing the left leg forward, parallel, shin parallel to the top of the mat. Take your right leg and cross it as far over to get your foot, if you can, directly over your knee. Otherwise, walk it down your shin. <clears throat> Once you get there, you want to again lift your tush up, grab the flesh manually away from your sit bone. You may want to sit on something. Listen for these cues, okay? This is really big. I say this every time I get into my own double pigeon. It's really useful. Squeeze your feet in toward one another. Keep that. Draw your shins into your groin. Keep that. And then start to press, either with your hand or energetically, the top knee out and away from you. So feet squeeze in. Shins draw in, top knee up and over, and you can stay here lifted or bow forward over your legs and breathe. So good. Two more breaths. And on your next inhale, raising your torso up. If you're on your back, all you're gonna do is switch legs 
or take your right foot forward, your left leg over, honoring that you're not perfectly symmetrical. So do what you need to do. If you didn't need a, uh, a block on one side, a towel, you might need it on the other. So just keep checking in. Feet squeeze in, shins drawn in to your groin, top knee move out and away from you. And once you feel steady and stable, come back to your breath, return back to your body, and then bow, turn inward toward yourself if that's calling you. your mind started to wander, continue to consider coming to your breath, bringing attention back to your intention. Something to just teach yourself how to give your mind something to focus on of choice rather than by default. Two more very big breaths. Can you relax your jaw? Can you relax your brow a little bit more? And slowly make your way up. Come to Sukhasana. Take a seat, please. <clears throat> you may want to sit on something. Whatever's going to help you. Dropping your knees lower than your hips is useful. If you're like this, it's going to be challenging. If you need to sit up into a chair or against the wall, please do. And if sitting doesn't work for you, just go ahead and lie down on your back. We're going to take a seated meditation for a moment. Palms in whatever gesture that you choose. So if you feel like you want to just stay more inward, keep your hands maybe down onto your knees or even onto a body part if a certain body part is desiring more attention right now. Or you can turn your palms up in a more receptive and open mudra. The shoulders are over your hips. The shoulders are drawing on back body. The chin is drawn in slightly. The crown of the head reaches. And we pause here and just breathe. Consider as you breathe to stay focused on that intention. To maintain your own internal drishti of that powerful intention that you set that's going to be available at any moment when you feel returning back to it as you move through the rest of your day. See, in any moment, everything's available. Finding a problem, frustration, overwhelm, that's available. Joy, ease, peace, that's available. And what often determines that, because the only place we ever experience our consciousness is through our thinking. So the way in which we experience that is through the thinking, the focus that we have. So right now, just for the last few moments, consider bringing your attention, your focus, to something of choice, instilling your own empowerment. to stay here or make your way onto your back for the final Savasana. 
doing any movement that feels good for you, maybe rolling around, hugging your legs into your chest, a happy baby, whatever works for you. And then coming to a receptive, open posture of Savasana. The legs extend out in front of you, the arms fall to the side, the eyes soften, and we allow ourselves to settle and to assimilate and digest all of the work we've done. There is nothing for you to do right now, just to simply be. Most likely the rest of your day will not be similar to this moment. So give yourself the gift of presence, of stillness, of rest, to receive the benefits of all of your work. body if you're on your back, fingers, toes, making your way mindfully, slowly to a seated position. If you're seated, just take a moment as you bring yourself back. Everyone meeting in a seated position with your hands drawn into your heart center. Again, just staying inward for these last few moments of class. And take a very big inhale wherever you are. Through your mouth, let it go. Exhaling any dissonant energy, anything that's not serving, let it go, let it go. Let it be recycled back out in the universe. One more time like that. Inhale anything that still might be holding on that you don't need anymore. Just let it go. Exhale it out. And one final ohm. We close together. Inhale deeply. your heart to the world as you stay courageous in your own self with integrity move through the world filling your cup with that integrity and then sharing your light out in the world take a very big inhale and bow forward to the true guru inside of your own selves how do you shanti shanti peace namaste thank you guys so much it's just like talking to myself right now. It's very weird, but I'm so grateful. Um, I think I'm on for every Friday at nine starting this week. We want to just double check the Facebook page, make sure that's happening and that that is correct. But um, I just appreciate you so much. Enjoy your day, whatever you're choosing to do. Stay light and bright. And one quick thing, I am offering a free webinar or donation if you want. It's at two o'clock mountain time today and it is um, just really supporting people. It's a coaching webinar, just a circle to come together and support each other during this time to navigate from a more high frequency. So if you feel like joining more like-minded people who have that intention set and wanna gain more wisdom um, from each other, then join us, 2 p.m. Look on my Facebook page for information or reach out to me directly. Thanks so much, you guys. So much love.